Hey you guys, I'm here in southern China's Shenzhen at the BYD headquarters. China has a lot of massive car brands and BYD sits right at the top. Just this year, China overtook Japan to become the world's number one auto exporter. But back when I was in New Zealand, everyone was buying Japanese cars. Things have changed. And now the number one selling EV in New Zealand is actually the BYD Atto 3. And it just so happens my dad is in the market for a new car. But like many Westerners, he wants to know just how safe Chinese vehicles are. So I've contacted BYD and they've agreed to show me around. And I'm going to ask them some of your questions. I'm Andy Borham here in Shenzhen. And this is a special edition of Reports on China. This is the BYD headquarters in Pingshan, about an hour's drive from Shenzhen city. I've come to meet Brandon, who's going to show me around. Hi, Andy. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Welcome Thanks to BYD. Cool. Well, let me show you some of our products first. Okay. Well, as you can see, we have vehicles for everyone. Mm. Well, Dolphin, the Denza, the BYD Atto 3, and Seal, and we even have trucks and buses. And buses. Yes, well, I don't know if you noticed that before, but uh, almost every bus in Shenzhen is from BYD. Oh, wow, I'll keep an eye out. <laughs> well, uh, I have more to show you inside. Okay. Come follow me. Let's go. Hi, young one, that's you, eight. Yes. Oh, that's He's keen to show me BYD's four yes. sub-brands. But I'm interested in this beast, the U8, which California Governor Gavin Newsom was spotted test driving here in Shenzhen recently. This model is the Yangwang U8, mm. and it is equipped with some of our most advanced technologies, like uh, the E to the fourth platform and the DSIS intelligent body control system. And because of that, this vehicle has some amazing features like the tank turn. Oh, I've seen the video. Yeah, impressive, oh, huh? It's awesome. Yeah. Are you interested in buying one? I have no money. <laughs> <laughs> Not many people realize this, but BYD, a Fortune 500 company, doesn't just make cars. They work in four main areas, electronics, new energy, rail transit, and auto. Now let me show you some history okay. of BYD. Mm. Well, back in 1995, we actually started out as a battery maker. Also, oh, back then you didn't do cars at all. Well, now that you mention it, please allow me to direct your attention over here. It was in the year of 2005 that we mm. launched our first branded car. Also, oh, the cars didn't come until 10 years after the launch. Yes, well, oh, wow. let me show you another milestone. Mm. Last year, we actually announced to discontinue the production of gasoline-powered vehicles. And in August this year, uh, our 5 millionth new energy vehicles just rolled out the production line. Oh, wow, a lot. <laughs> well, come follow me, I'll show you more. Okay. Now, BYD's new energy vehicles have a market presence in over 70 countries and regions around the world. Oh, nice. So out of all those places, which cars are the most popular? Well, our standout products are usually the BYD Atto 3, Seal, and Dolphin, especially the BYD Atto 3. Oh, nice. Oh, I have a question from a follower, actually. Yes. Um, a lot of people ask, if you buy a car from BYD in any of these countries, what's the aftercare like? Well, strategically, we have been working very closely with uh, some of the most influential local partners in mm. the overseas market. And by doing this, we want to create a very effective after-sale uh, network. Oh, okay. Well, another question, actually. Yeah. People want to know, when are you going to be in North America? Well, uh, we actually set up our American branch office back in 1999, and all this time we have been actively uh, involved in the commercial vehicle business in America. And our electric bus factory located in Lancaster, California, mm. is actually the largest one in North America. In fact, BYD just won a contract to supply electric school buses more easily in California. So what you're seeing right now is actually uh, the largest patent wall in China. Oh, really? Yeah. So this is all B BYD patents? Yes, and this wall is actually made up of 1,250 patents. Oh, wow. wow. Okay. Yes. So the ePlatform 3.0 is actually a highly integrated platform, mm. and it has remarkable performances in terms of intelligence, efficiency, safety, and aesthetics. Also, what, what does this CTB mean? Well, the CTB cell-to-body technology was launched last year. And with this technology, the battery actually became part of the structure. Oh, okay. And it has greatly increased uh, stability, range, as well as performance. Okay, so since it's part of the body, then you can't swap it very easily, right? We mm -hmm. had quite a few questions from people asking about other brands that do battery swap. Have you guys considered that? Well, BYD actually has a very different strategy where we combine pure electric vehicles mm. with plug-in 
and hybrid vehicles. Okay. And thanks to our DM technology, uh, our vehicles can achieve a very impressive range of over 1,200 kilometers. Oh, that's a long way. So at that pace, you don't really need to change the battery yes. that often. But we did have some other questions about safety. So basically, um, how safe are the batteries? Well, let me show you the Mount Everest of battery safety test. Sounds good. Okay. Okay, so what are we about to see here? So we're trying to simulate a battery short circuiting and by using a nail of five millimeters to penetrate two different types of batteries. Okay, so the first one's going to be NCM. That's not BYD battery, right? No. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. So NCM battery, is that quite common in other cars? Yes, it is. Oh, wow. Okay, and then will we see this one? Oh, yes. See that. Okay. Oh, so this is BRD battery? Yeah, this is BYD Blade battery. That's it? Yeah, safe and sound. Wow, so there really is quite a difference between the two. Yes. Wow. Unfortunately, I can't show you guys the crash test area, but I found this footage of BYD's seal and dolphin crash tests done independently in Europe, which led both to receiving Euro NCAP 5-star ratings this year. Let's keep exploring and find out more. Oh wow, it is really a huge space and it's so quiet. Yeah, impressive, huh? Yeah. You can actually hear your ear, the buzzing in your ear here. Oh yeah, right? I can. It's, yeah, and I guess there's no echo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, this is the NVH area. What yes. is NVH? Well, NVH actually stands for noise, vibration and harshness. Oh, okay. Oh, so I guess they put a car on here and then simulate driving and then see what kind of sounds. Yes. Oh, nice. Wow. Well, actually, I have one more thing to show you. Come. Just stand here. Uh, can you identify what's in the middle? No. <laughs> well, it's actually B, Y, D. Oh, uh, I can see it now. Yeah. Okay. But if you didn't say, I wouldn't have noticed. Yeah, same. Same for me cool. in the first time. Now for the exciting part, taking a test drive. Since my dad is looking for a new car in New Zealand, I thought it would be best to try out the BYD Atto 3, which is currently the most popular EV in my home country. So my dad is really concentrating on three points um, with a new car, the comfort, safety, and range. Mm. I think safety, we can easily tick that off after what you've shown me. I think it's very safe. And the comfort, I think it's pretty good. Like for me, I'm quite tall. My dad is as well, so mm -hmm. I think it's a good space. Yeah, and the uh, seats and everything, it feels great. Yeah, it feels good, yeah. comfy. I could do a long road trip. Yeah. So I just test drove the BYD Atto 3. It's pretty good. Um, and this is Brendan from uh, BYD. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, he's got good news for you. You're gonna give him a car, right? Yes, and here it is. It's <laughs> exactly the same, but it's just smaller. I hope you yeah. can fit in there. It's a bit more in your budget range, I reckon. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. So that's it, you guys. A quick tour of China's most popular car maker, BYD, and their safety standards. I'm pretty satisfied, what about you? Let me know down below and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.